this is question number 17 and today we are going to solve part b of it okay here we have this circuit in which the inputs are rts and enable and uh, another input we have this busy okay so let me again uh, represent them uh, with some other variables in order to simplify our question here so this is part b of our question and here let me call this rts equal to a okay uh, enable enable let me call it b okay and let me call this bz this is c okay the output is now sent let me not change it and it is the same output we have so now uh, in order to do it let me use this one here we can see that this rts and enable are applied to this uh, nand gate okay so the output of them will be a dot b whole complement so this will be the output which we will get here okay uh, here prior to the application of uh, these inputs to this nand gate what we have here we have here two these bubbles okay so uh, what is the functionality of this so i as i have previously told you that this bubble basically represent as uh, the inversion of the input which is applied to them okay so therefore when uh, this input is applied to the bubble what i will get here i will get here a b complement and it is again complemented so therefore these complements will cancel each other and i will get here a b okay this will be here while this b z is c so therefore it will be now here c complement and both of these are applied here to this what this one is the nand gate so therefore i will get here a b multiplied by c prime and whole complement so this will be the output and here this output is what this is the output which is called send okay so what is this this is the output required output which we have got from this circuit so this will be the output or the expression boolean expression of the output which we will get from here okay so uh, after it what is the next step here in order to find the output of it we have to write all the combinations of them so let me write here a b c and here we have this output send okay so this is what this is we have here and here as well and now writing all the possible combinations of input so it is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and 0 1 1 similarly here 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 okay and here 1 1 one okay so now in order to write the outputs here what i have to do here we can see that this uh, zero multiplied by zero is zero and uh, here again c prime is multiplied so zero multiplied by anything is zero here so from here we will get zero and the complement of it is one here okay so we can see that it is one okay similarly here zero multiplied by zero is zero okay in this expression and uh, the complement of this one is again zero so here it will be zero again and here again one similarly here we will also get one okay here it will be zero and it will also be zero and the complement of it will be one okay uh, similarly one multiplied by zero so it will be zero and zero multiplied by anything will also be zero and the complement of it will also be one similarly here as well we we'll also get one uh, now here we can see that it will be one multiplied by one is one and c complement is what c complement is again one so one multiplied by one is one and the complement of it is now zero 
So we can see that uh, these are only the single inputs which are giving us the 0 up till now. Similarly, now here 1 1 is 1 and the complement of this one is 0. So, 0 multiplied by anything is 0 and the whole complement of it will be 1. Okay. So, uh, this is basically the output. Okay. Uh, I have somehow tilted it, but you may see the concept here that what it will be. So, this is the output uh, which I have got from this Boolean expression. So, this is the Boolean expression okay, or the resultant Boolean expression which we have obtained from this part. So, that is it for today in which we have solved the part B of our question number 17. And I will see you with some more questions in our upcoming video. Till then take care of yourself and I will see you soon.